You fell in love in this moment. Oh, I ship Shoni so much. So we couldn't, like I said, decide what we wanted to do today. So we're just gonna do a little bit of everything. Let's see what people said about Q and A. Did anyone say anything about Q and A? Did I tweet it? <sighs> what is the funniest memory you guys have with each other? I know what my funniest memory is, but I can't share it on camera. Okay, my funniest memory of Vanessa is. Out. I remember you by the door with your glass of wine and you just <laughs> <laughs> Favorite thing to do together we talk about it all the time, but we love to just like drink tea Drink tea If there's an essential oil diffuser on at the same time Definitely that's living and then maybe bake Comment down below if you guys want another baking with Vanessa video if you haven't seen it I'm gonna link it up above. Do you think that Cheryl and Tony are likely to have a future together? If so, why? Uh, also, I love you so much. We love you too! <laughs> And that I really want them to stay together forever. Not only is it fun to date your best friend on a show, but also this yeah. is the first time we're really seeing a soft side for her. Because with the boys, she's always like, you know, she's super rugged and like sarcastic. One of, the guys. One of the boys. Yeah, and then you see her with Cheryl, and it's like they both have this sweet, vulnerable side that nobody's ever seen before. She's just so understanding and caring about Cheryl, and just sees through the whole facade that Cheryl puts yeah, up. Yeah, the wall she puts up. Yeah, mm -hmm. I just think it's like, sweet and loving, and it's something Cheryl deserves. So comment down below if you like that as well. <laughs> I should, to be honest. I really should. Somebody tweeted, no one can tell me my good sis Vanessa doesn't have a secret Shoni fan account. I just know she does. You'll so. never know. Describe Shoni in the finale in one word. I'm going to say one word, but I'll say three. Building strong foundation. Ooh, good. For our relationship. Yes. Ooh, should we talk about our first impressions of each other? Okay, my first impression of you. Okay. I looked at you and I was like, oh my god, you're so pretty. And then I was like, and then I thought, I really like your, your turtleneck. And then I thought, wow, you're the character. That's like, what I thought. I was like, oh my god, like you walked out of the book. They sent me a photo of me from the audition. I Is this so from the audition? You standing there? Oh my gosh. My first impression of Vanessa was she was her whole outfit was just so cute. It was actually yeah, you told me you like my shoes. I loved that's the first thing I said to her, I think. I remember I saw her at the studio test. First step of the testing process. We were all way too nervous to even chat, but I was like, this girl's got dope style. Then I saw her again at the network test, and then we just started chatting. Two days later, we went and got drinks. It got along like a house on fire. Who breaks character more? We don't really break character. Like, but the minute the cameras are done rolling, her and I are chatting. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's about it. Yeah, we really, we don't really have moments of it's like, mm-mm. I think, no, I don't Not so. even during our kiss stuff. If you were a dog, what breed do you think you would be? Okay, my gut was to say German Shepherd, but- You wouldn't be German But Shepherd. because I'm like tiny and all You'd that stuff, I would say, I'd be a Chihuahua, you would be a Pierre, so you would be like a little <sighs> mini poodle with the ginger poodle. A ginger poodle. Mm, I don't know about that. I think I would be a Shiba Inu. I don't think you would. I think mean, I would because they're like cunning and sly. I think I'd be more like a sh I'd be one more than you would. But definitely. You're <laughs> so mean. <laughs> I picture you being up here. Oh, I want to see you on Vanessa's audition tape. Send oh, my audition to you Tony. before I send. I remember when they were looking for Tony Topaz. Hold up. What about Vanessa Morgan? <laughs> Just saying. So then she was shooting Shanana Nana Chronicles. <laughs> <laughs> And then like just put yourself on tape. Basically, I put myself on tape and my agent's like, you're probably not even gonna be able to do this because you're on Shannara Chronicles. <laughs> Shannara Chronicles. And so I was like, you know, like I need to be on the show. And I did the tape and the, well, first before I did the tape, I asked you for any tips. You told me to wear, you said think plaid or like leather. So I did like a beanie with mm -hmm. black, pink okay. hair. And you sent me the tape. And I sent you the tape before I sent, I said, what do you think before I sent it to casting? And I think I sent it in all capitals, send it. I don't know if you did that actually. You actually took like a long time to reply. You took, you, you, took a, you took a day's notice. Did you know that you were in New Zealand, right? So you're a lot ahead of me. So you, said, you probably sent it to me while I was still asleep, like just gone to sleep, and then I woke up and watched it and, said, and told you to send it. Yeah, you said yeah, you said it was yeah. perfect. Yeah, you ever like swallow something and then breathe out and then it goes up your nose? No. Um, it's probably that thing problem with your nose, you know, all the snot when I was kissing you and stuff. Hello, darkness, um, anyways, so friend. I sent in the tape, she said it was good, and I found out like a week later, but it was like a really stressful process. But it definitely helped having a cheerleader in my corner. I told you every little thing. Is there anything only the other knows of you and no one else? Like, Lots of things, nothing that I would tell on camera. There we go, that's an answer. Also, 
you didn't reply to me. Like, I thought I was sending her, like, a hilarious video. Like, I was on the beach. No, my girlfriend on. started filming me. I didn't know she was filming me, and then hold I saw on. it, and then I started working it. Hold on, hold on. You didn't reply. You yeah, send your friend a funny video, and don't reply. No, I didn't reply, because you posted on Instagram story five seconds later, so I wasn't special anymore. It wasn't just for me. I thought it was just for me, and then I saw Instagram story, and I was like, okay, No, whatever. it was a good 30 minutes later. Yeah, but it, I was like, I was, check my phone every five I was like, no, it was like, no, I thought you were gonna be like, LOL, no laugh. You know what? <laughs> LOL. <laughs> no laugh. So I was like, hey, someone needs to laugh. I posted all my stuff. Take a picture of each other in your camera roll. Oh, baby. Let's find it. Oh, oh wait. Pizzas. I, I told you to just get one. You I said, let's share. I said, let's share. You? I said, let's share. I said, let's share. I said, let's share. I said, let's share. Oh, it was, <laughs> that's what we were doing on Halloween. We were such losers. Okay, guys, this is what we were doing on Halloween night. <laughs> I don't know why I was filming that. Dress my hand, you creep. I'll what? look, I'll look, I'll look through mine. Maybe you can, oh, you can send it to me and I'll yeah, put yeah, it yeah. in. Um, oh, never mind, I lost my phone. The ocean wave. Oh, it's <laughs> out of my hand. So I was walking on the beach, just I had my phone right here, like, because I was listening to my music on a nice little stroll, and a wave came and just knocked it out of where my boob was, like, right here. We were like, if, they, if Warner Brothers didn't leak this and Roberto, that was gonna be me going breaking into the Sylvia office. Mark Consuelos just tweeted us and said, who's your favorite adult male of the Lodge family? I think there's a grandpa or something. Mm -hmm. yeah, or an uncle. Oh. Yeah, this is a really hard question, Mark. Uh, oh, a little awkward. Yeah, basically. Awkward. But I'm gonna be honest, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of Hiram. Mark, however, love, love Mark. Love Mark, kind of like Mark. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like, I like, Mark is like, okay. Mark is, cool. Mark is, Mark. Mark is okay, Mark is okay. Mark, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All right, let's, let me just put that out there. Mark and Suelos, you heard the girl. New follow follow me. Favorite Shoney quote? Mm -hmm. Oh, I know mine. You're sensational? Yeah. Oh, original. Uh, what original. do you mean original? It is original, uh, I said it. Original. Why don't you come over here and say that to my face? Uh, that, happily Queen good, of the Busters. Yeah, that one, because that one was a good one. And, but also, you know, all of the, like, confrontational moments we had before that were, like, really well, like, planted. I feel like they really planted yeah. the seeds for a relationship. Thanks for watching with two of your favorite Shoney shippers. I can't wait for you guys to see the rest of the season. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. Subscribe for weekly videos. I put videos out every single Wednesday. She's looking at me like she has no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm so bad with this. And turn your post notifications on. Yep. It's gonna be Madeline and Vanessa. Madnessa. It's gonna be Madnessa. Madnessa. Um, but comment below if you'd like that. Comment um, below what you'd like to see us do next. I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys more. Not so, more than me, but mm, that's okay. I love you guys more than um, she loves you. No, 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 no. I love you more than she loves you. Thanks for watching. We both love you. Bye. Bye.